I'm officially excited. I'm always excited for deer season, but uh, I just checked my cell cameras this morning. There's a buck with big bases, and it's uh, we're Exodus. We just launched eight year anniversary sale. Like it feels like we're in we're we're in it right now. So for this upcoming season, I, I want to hear what postseason scouting you did and and kind of what is on the docket for this year. Yeah. So um, I've probably spent more time um, postseason scouting this year than I might have ever have. Um, one, because I needed to, to get in the woods more postseason. And it's hard for me to stay out of the woods is the second one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I got uh, a couple bucks on the radar that I know made it. And uh, actually, I got laying right here on my coffee table. I got this guy. Oh, nice. Pretty it was a uh, solid bug. Yeah, got a sticker on the G2. Yep. And he's like, he was 62 and four eights is what that one was. That was my biggest shed this year. Wow. And I actually had that buck on camera in February. So I know he made it through and I have a really good feeling. I've actually been getting pictures of that deer. Uh, it's really big mountain ground. There's not a lot of really big deer in PA. I, I won't say that. I take that back. There's not a lot of big, big deer in this chunk where uh, I'm focusing at. And I've got a buck that's got some pretty big bases on that same exact cell camera coming in, checking that same scrape. So I've, I have a notion that it's him, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I've been scouting for that deer really hard specifically. And I got a really solid game plan for him. Uh, a lot of food sources. I found, uh, Oaks and, uh, checking out the clear cuts, seeing what the browse they have, finding all the scrape lines, putting all the dots together, A, B, and C and, uh, Ohio. Uh, I did some postseason scouting. But I kind of have that that area kind of fine tuned. I spent a lot of time in there last year, uh, including 22 days in the tree. So wow! And then I ran I ran probably uh, around 20 cameras in Ohio, and I think I just have enough that I'm I'm comfortable with saying that I'm I'm kind of got the leg up uh, for this this upcoming season. And yeah. uh, so what what uh, what specifically makes you feel that? Obviously. 20 some days in the stand and, and a lot of cameras and, and boots on the ground. But what do you know this year that you didn't know last year? Uh, I actually kept track of a lot of dates of uh, certain events, you know, um, like I seen a couple of days that were getting pushed really, really hard in one specific spot right around that ninth, 10th, 11th. So I made note of that when those days are coming in heat and I'm actually trying to, but that information up, I'm, I'm waiting to get feedback on some of the trail cameras I have out to see when these fawns are dropping. And then I'm going to count that back to 200, 201 days and see if that lines up with that information, all that little stuff. And then um, in my postseason scouting, I really found where uh, I think, so I have the, there's a big point that comes out off this main ridge. And I know that the, the specific deer that I was after, um, we named him Hoss. He's probably, he was probably 150 inches last year, and I know he made it through. I got pictures of him in late December, and a neighbor has pictures of him in January. So I'm really, like, my main focus is on that deer, but obviously it doesn't have to be that deer. That's kind of how I roll. Like, I'll pick a, a certain buck to hunt, but it, it doesn't have to be him if it comes to that point in the season. But I just, I think I really understand how that deer is using that ridge system now after running a handful of cameras on it. So I just have, I have trees picked out. I spent a lot, a lot of time in there. They're milkweed, understanding exactly what's going on, how he uses it, why he's using it, and when he likes to be there. I got a notepad with every single date of pictures I had of him, what direction he's coming from, uh, where the wind was, was the wind to his back, was it to his nose, all that stuff. I got it all all laid out on a data sheet. So yeah, it's a lot more confident than, you know, I mean, I didn't have any of that stuff last year. And yeah. that ridge was new to me, you know? Yeah, that, I mean, you've done the work there. I'll be really excited to see how it pans out. Now, here's just a, kind of a fun question. If you could pick between where you hunt in Pennsylvania and Ohio, let's say you walk out your front door, it could be where you hunt in Ohio, or you could walk out your front door and it's where you're hunting in Pennsylvania. Which one are you taking? Ohio. <laughs> no <laughs> I hesitation. I I <laughs> no, I absolutely love that place down there. It's just like my getaway, you know? I, I just had a small little cabin down there. I could live there. Absolutely. Yeah. 